Join me as I share my faith, explore fashion, and stumble on this road to empty nesthood. Road trip! Hey world, it is Sharice. I'm back at you with a faith nugget on today. It's been a little while since I've had something for you, but I've been going through. And see, now I'm, I'm realizing I'm going through for y'all. I'm going through so God can get the glory, of course, for my growth, but it's also for your gain. And so I can encourage and inspire someone else to trust in God, to believe his word, and to let you know you can make it through. Woo! So let me just tell y'all what's been going on. As most of you know, my channel is about faith, fashion, and also, um, what else is it about? Fashion. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And my road to hashtag road to emptiness. <laughs> How do I know, know what my what my page is about? Anyway, I did know y'all. Just want to make sure you knew. Um, but it's about my hashtag road to empty nesthood. So part of that um, is that I'm going to be moving to a different state, and I've been preparing myself for that. <clears throat> For the last six months to a year, practically, preparing myself, getting myself ready, because I knew that the time was going to be coming. And the time is now here. Okay, I'm so excited, as you can tell. Um, anyway, so in my preparation, uh, y'all, when I tell you the streets, it's, it's real in these Christian streets, it's real in these Christian streets. You got to have your faith walk right and together because the enemy's gonna try to come at you so I'm a teacher and I believe in God and I'm thanking him right now thank you father for my teaching job that is in Northern Virginia and um, as I've come to find out North Virginia y'all they ain't playing they serious when they say they want exemplar teachers they want exemplar teachers and they have um, an effective way I guess in their eyes of going about getting them. So I started on this road to get to Virginia to get a teaching job. And <clears throat> when I started doing my research, I realized that 90%, I think that's what the statistics said, that about 90% of the teachers that are working in the Northern Virginia area, um, they have their master's degree in education. Yeah, I don't even have my bachelor's degree <laughs> in education. My bachelor's degree is in accounting. Um, I later throughout the course of living, being a mom and things of that nature, decide to become a teacher. So I have an alternative um, certificate in teaching that I earned when I was in Texas. Um, but it is still very valid. <clears throat> and when I moved to North Carolina, it was, um, they have reciprocity with that state. So that means that my certificate was still good. And I've also met this, the qualifications to have to hold a Virginia teacher's license as well. So I'm actually right now licensed in Virginia, Texas, and North Carolina. So to God be the glory for that. But anyway, um, but I don't have a master's degree in education. So I was a little intimidated when I first saw that. And my husband quickly said to me, my number one fan, uh, really, well, 10% don't have a master's degree, so you good. I was like, okay, I see you. I see you, man of God. You know, so yes, he was absolutely right. I'm not going to hold myself to that criteria, okay? Because I know that God has called me to teach, and I know what he has put in me. So I kind of brushed that under the rug. I'm good. I don't got to worry about that. Well, then I started I'm preparing for my resume, which, oh my goodness, I'll talk about that in a whole nother video, but fortunately, you know, I had the wisdom of God and I also had this book. It's a great book. And again, that'll be in a different video um, that helped me to make a, what I consider a grade A resume. And I will tell you that book, my colleagues, the wisdom of God, definitely I needed all of that to get this resume done because I, I interviewed um, in 18 years, really for teaching so I need to get back into the game as to what needs to be done and of course I wanted to stand out for the that from the thousands of other teachers who I'm sure are just as qualified um, that are gonna be going to these job fairs or getting interviews so I got over that little hurdle then um, I found out that I had to be invited to the job fairs invited y'all so most job fairs you kind of just register you say hi I'm Sharice Kennerson resume I'll see you there mm -mm, no 
not in these districts <laughs> they said we want to show us what you got and we will let you know if we want you to come to the job fair and then when you get to the job fair you may or may not get invited back for a second interview you may or may not get hired so it's like wow they serious which is a good thing it's a good thing so i know when i get my job <laughs> I earn my job for reals, y'all, because they serious up in there. So, <clears throat> but that is intimidating. It's intimidating for someone who doesn't even have a bachelor's in education. I have an alternative certificate. Um, who doesn't have a master's. You know, it's intimidating. Who's been out of the game a little bit when it comes to interviewing and resumes. It's a little intimidating. It's a lot intimidating. And I really, really just had to stand on the word of God and trust and believe that, you know what, although... It's intimidating. I serve a bigger God. He is bigger, period. And I know that God's called me to do this. So the first county came up with a career fair. I'm like, yes, okay. I got to be invited to it. I worked hard, got my resume done, got it in. And three days later, two or three days later, I got an email. You've been invited to a career fair. I'm like, yes. There you go, Lord. I'm ready now. That's it. I, I got a job. I'm done. I'm going to do nothing else. So, went to the job fair and yeah. I bombed the interview just a little bit. <laughs> I bombed one of the questions, y'all. I mean, totally just bombed it. And I, you know, of course, have gone over my head a million times what I should have said, what I could have said. Why did I say that? Um, but I, I totally bombed and I just said, you know what, to God be the glory, rejection is God's protection. He knows what he's doing. It was my first interview. Brush it off. You got this. Okay. Rome wasn't built in a day, you know. <laughs> so so um, I quickly kind of got over that one. Um, and then the Lord blessed me again because the very next day after that, um, another county I was looking into, they opened up a whole new school and they had some jobs listed and another career fair that you had to be invited to. So I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> you know, but I wasn't as nervous this time. I quickly went ahead and submitted my resume for the career fair in hopes of hearing back from them, which I did in about two or three days. Praise God again for that. <laughs> Is so awesome and then about a week or two later I actually got called for an interview for the school that I had applied to that they had had listed so I was really excited about that and I'm gonna be honest with you guys I just kind of felt that one of my spirit I was like mm -mm, this is it God allowed me to mess up the other interview because he had this one for me they're paying more um it's brand new school it's the grade, one of the grades you want to teach. I mean, I just, I just felt that thing. I mean, I just felt it. Mm, bye -bye. You know, I even look, did I even start speaking it for real? Like I was already um, confessing that the job was mine. I had a job, but then I started going on social media and I was like, hashtag I got the job. Cause I just felt that thing. I got this job. This is mine. I got it. I got it. My friends and people that I knew was text me back. Congratulations in the spirit. We believe in God with you. I mean, this was it. And it still may very well be it. I just haven't heard anything yet. <laughs> but I really wanted to, when I went to the interview, I was really believing God that they would say, um, can you step out the room for a moment? And they called me back in and offered me the job. But that did not happen. Um, I did a lot better, I believe, than the last time. Um, but I didn't get that instant gratification that we want, you know, that I want anyway. And so that bothered me, okay? Now, although they have not declined me, I still kept running back in my mind what I could have said, what I should have said, why, what I um, wish I had done. And it really started bothering me. You could see it on me. It bothered me. And I said, Father, okay, first of all, I'm not going to let this get to me because I know that you are still God. You're in control of all things. You hold the king's heart in his hand. You tell it which way to go. If this job was for me, it would be my job, period. I'm not that powerful. I can't mess this job. I can't mess up what you have for me. Um, now he might delay it. So no, that's a whole nother message. God might delay something for you, but if it's for you, it's for you. So, um, but I still just could not stop doubting myself. I could not stop feeling like, oh, you messed, why'd you mess this up? And you should have said this. And how come you didn't do this? You should have gave more of an answer. Um, the enemy just running through my mind, trying to just chip away at my confidence, chip away at what I know God already has done for me. And I really felt bad about that. I felt bad that I was allowing myself to 
be disappointed because the bottom line is God is still God and he's in control and what's for me is for me and I know that. So um, that's what I was really upset about too was I, why am I walking around feeling like this? Really Sharice, it's not even that serious. You know God's got this. But what I'm so thankful for is that I had several people call me, hey, how'd it go? I know you got this. Really encouraging. I love that, that God surrounds me around people who really genuinely care. Um, but I'm even more excited that he blessed me to work for my principal. My principal is also a woman of God, and we talk like that on a spiritual level from time to time. And she saw that something was bothering me, and she said, hey, what's going on? How did everything go? You know, we talked about it. I was honest with her about how I felt. I wish I had done this. I wish I could have did that. And so she said, uh, stop. <laughs> First of all, you are amazing. And you will always have a job here if you don't get a job in Virginia. <laughs> I'm like, really? She said, but you are amazing and God's got you. Don't let the enemy chip away at your confidence and try to delude, get you all messed up and delusional for the job that God does have for you. Your confidence needs to be on point when you get to that interview. And she said, even in that, if it's for you, he can't mess that up. You can't mess it. You're not that powerful. I mean, she really just said all the things I had already said to myself, she said again to me. Um, and it just touched me that she thought that much about me to say that. But she didn't stop there, y'all. Later on that day, I got an email from her also just talking about, um, she forwarded to me, um, a devotional just talking about you know again how God's got this and shake it off and don't let them you know try to tear your confidence down and then later on that night she actually texted me something saying that you know let go of those negative thoughts in your mind and stand on who God said you are you're created in his image image is everything I have a t-shirt that says that you're created in his image you know you are a child of the most high God trust and believe and know that you know that my value wasn't based on getting a job right away my value was based Based on Jesus Christ so I was so touched and blessed um, by that so I'm here to tell you especially if you're a Christian surround yourself with people that know God and know his word because like the scripture says iron needs to sharpen iron and if they don't have that two-edged sword in them that word of God they can't sharpen you I can't I'm usually the person that sharpens and motivates and encourages others so it takes a special person or someone carrying that word of God um, and that power and that and that are favored and anointed by God to come and speak life into me because I already know the word of God I had already spoken it several times you know so it took a special person who knew the word of God and knew how to come at me with the anointing of God to get me to shake that thing off of me. And I was so excited about that. I was so excited that she felt comfortable enough to talk to me on that level. I was excited that um, she was my boss and that I could talk with her on that level. And I was most excited that God decided to show his love through her to me. Um, that just blessed my soul. It just, it blessed me, overwhelmed me. I, I went on social media and talked about it. And I'm just here to tell you again, surround yourself with those people that know the word of God, that really have your best interest at heart, that can speak life into you when you need it, that can sharpen that iron and continue to trust God. Because he really does have it all in control. Because like I said, yes, I would love to have a job right now. I already know there's a job waiting for me. If I got to get to the manifestation. I would love to have a job right now. But what I really want most importantly is the job that God has for me. Because God knows what principle I can work for. He knows what staff I can work and collaborate with. He knows what students need me the most. He knows what parents that I can work with and assist and help and that's gonna um, support me as well. God knows that. So he knows where I need to be for this season. So I'm gonna continue to trust him. I'm gonna continue my hashtag. I got the job campaign because I got the job. It's coming. I'm believing though. I'm speaking those things to be not as though they were. I am walking by faith, faith walker, faith talker. You know, and I'm doing it with a beautiful spirit. I'm not gonna walk around here, oh, I wish I had said, okay, well you didn't. So get over it, get over yourself and move on. Pretty much. So again, you guys, be encouraged. <clears throat> If you don't know God as your personal Lord and Savior, definitely hit me up at the bottom. You know, click me, um, email me, DM me, whatever you got to do, because you need a special relationship with Christ just like I have. Because you're going to need, I'm telling you, baby, <laughs> you're going to need somebody. You're going to need someone to speak into you. You're going to need someone to assist you. And only God can do that. And he can use anyone but surround yourself with people that you know he's definitely going to touch and use. Be blessed. I love you. God loves you so much more. Until next time. 
Don't forget to check out my website. The information is listed below where you can find these two T's, Images Everything and Walk by Faith. Again, please subscribe, like, and share this video. Until next time. Thank you.